Leaders from Joint Region Marianas, the Missile Defense Agency, and the Army held a press briefing to field questions about the enhanced integrated air and missile defense system. The initial plan calls for the use of up to 2,000 acres, although officials say the final footprint will probably be about 900 to 1,000. 95 percent will be on DOD land. The required scoping hearings are to get the public's input on environmental concerns. John Beer is the program director for the Missile Defense Agency. We'll go through as part of that environmental impact statement a series of studies that will look at you know, biological, cultural, historical, uh, you know, find, make sure there's not any significant uh, detriment to, the, to the, uh, the beautiful island of, of Guam. And with a project of this magnitude, there are plenty of questions. Officials met earlier with the governor, senators, and business leaders who asked about system safety. Then there were reports that nuclear micro-reactors might be deployed for power backup at the sites. No, we are not uh, proposing to bring uh, the uh, micro-reactors as part of this architecture. So why the need for such a complex system here, which officials acknowledge would essentially be the first of its kind given Guam's unique topography? So you need a 360 degree defensive system because the adversary with their advanced threats have the ability to maneuver around the island. So if you have your assets on the west side of the island and they were to fly around to the east side, then they're, they're, you, know, you have no capability. So that's, that's why we, we talk about in order to cover the entire island, we need to provide this 360-degree de missile defense system. Covering the, those critical assets, and then you know we're, we're here to protect the people, we have to provide protection for the entire island. The project budget requirements have been submitted to Congress, which going forward will have the ultimate say. It's on the Hill right now. And as we, you know, we'll prepare our five-year plans, and we show that to Congress every year. You know, obviously, it takes the support of the entire Congress to uh, to fund this project. Nestor Lecanto, KUAM News.